neither I knew, and I know that you also don't know that whether or not you will be able to crack it with a hundred percent chance. And that is why if you are studying in a college, you cannot afford to neglect your college and your placements. At the same time, if you are doing a nine to five job, you cannot say that I will just leave that job and I will crack gate. Yes, there's a chance, but there's a chance. There is no certainty or a definiteness. And that is why you have to maintain and balance this college or job and gate. In this video, I will give you five clear cut tips and strategies with which if you incorporate those five strategies, I can ensure you, you will be managed, I mean, you will be able to manage your college and job and gate simultaneously without any hustle. So without any delay, let me start. The first thing is you should maintain a goal specific routine instead of a time specific routine. So you are maintaining a routine right now that is I will be studying this lecture at 10 to uh, I mean 11 a.m. at the morning. I will be doing my assignments from 1 to 2 p.m. right and you are scheduling your things at a particular time. Okay so this is a time specific routine. Another thing is that you are judging your performance based on how much time you have studied and how much time you have given to a particular work. So this is a time specific routine and in a goal specific routine, you will judge your performance based on how many goals you have accomplished. And also you will not schedule your goals like I have to do it between 10 to, uh, between 10 to 1 or, or between 2 to 3. No, not like that. Well, so instead of that, what you will do is you will make a diary, you will make a journal where you will list down your tasks. For example, in a particular day, you have to watch your thermodynamics lecture. You have to complete that project given by your boss that has a recent deadline. Finally, you have to go to a date with your girlfriend. Yes, every, I mean, everything is a task and you have to assign the tasks at the sequence according to your priority. Okay, that is very important. Now, you are not like ki mujhe thermodynamics lecture 10 se 11 mein hi dekhna hai. Whenever you are getting the time, you are seeing that lecture. At the end of the day, when you will be tracking your goals, okay, whether I have watched that lecture or not, whether I have done that project work or not. So when you will be ticking those and you are judging your performance based on the goals that will give you a dopamine secretion and that will help you being motivated for the next day. The moment I am saying that you have to have a goal specific routine and not a time specific routine, that means you have to be flexible enough to do any work at any time. And this is the next point that is have and find your micro intervals in the day. So when I was in my college, in my fourth year, just uh, before my gate examination, I was having a three hours of journey to and fro from my home to my college. So in that journey, I was in my metro. Okay, I was not in my metro. I was in metro. So I was in a situation where I can stand comfortably. Now I had three options. I can just waste the time by watching reels or any kind of movie. I can just gossip with my friends. And the third option is I can revise my notes. I can see a downloaded lecture. I can see a lecture that I have already seen to strengthen my concepts. So these are the micro intervals. Another micro interval for my case was when I was in my college between two, uh, between two successive periods. I was having gap. So in that gap, I am I was seeing that my friends were gossiping, my friends were going here and there, but I was in the library and studying. But does that mean that you will not enjoy your life? No. I also enjoyed my life, but as I have said earlier, remember that in the to-do list, in the first point, I have mentioned that there was a uh, that there was a task of going on a date with your girlfriend. So you have to prioritize that also. You have to schedule that also. That what thing or which activity will give me that much pleasure 
or with whom should I enjoy? With what should I enjoy? And how much should I enjoy? You should schedule all the things. Always keep in mind, if you are in a different situation, you have to play the game differently to win it. You can't follow a routine of someone who has 24 into 7 dedicated for game. The third point is, understand your college dynamics or your job dynamics. So everything I am saying is similarly applicable for your job. So this, so here I will give you an example for someone who is doing a 9 to 5 job. So in your workplace, you have to get promoted to get that salary hike, right? Because you need more money and that is pretty much cool. That is, there is nothing wrong in that. Now, you have to understand that in that particular company and specifically in your team, in your company, what you need to do to get promoted. So, if you have to oil your manager, you have to oil your manager. There is nothing wrong in that. Okay, you, you, you need to understand that there is a particular dynamics of every college. There is a particular dynamics of every workplace. You need to understand that. How can you understand that? Obviously, by talking to faithful seniors, by examining the situation by yourself. Okay. Now, here, again, I will give an example from my own college life. So, during my college days, I always used to hear that, Ari, yaar, fourth year ho gaya, ab kya class karna? Ab to gate ke liye paro, job ke liye paro. But I used to attend all the classes. Now, you might be thinking that, okay, he used to oil the teachers. No, that was not the right answer. The thing is that I knew that being an autonomous college, Jadapur University is an autonomous college. So, I knew that the questions in the class tests and the semesters will be coming 100% from the material that the professor is teaching in the class. For that reason only, I used to attend all the class, no matter how much good or bad the professor is teaching. I was attending all the classes. And the uh, benefit I saw was during the semester examinations. So my friends were like, Abhi to semester examination hai. So for the whole 20 days, the duration of the semester examination, they were like, I cannot prepare for gay. And you can't even imagine that a gap of 20 days in your gate preparation can, can actually hinder your performance that you have accumulated till now. So you have accumulated a lot of knowledge. You, can, you have accumulated a lot of facts and practice. 20 days are sufficient to make you forget at least 80% of all the things. That is why I ensured that I have to maintain the consistency no matter barish ajay, tufan ajay, I have to continue my preparation during the examination because I already knew that what I have to study and my, my friends did not know that what they should study. Yes, they were having the syllabus, but the syllabus was like this. Bohat bada hai. Lekin, because I attended the class, I had jotted down the 20%. Okay, and that was the key to success that I ensured consistency during my semester examination. I gave my get, get preparation the equal amount of time that I used to give for the whole year during the semester examination also. So this was an example that you need to understand and how can I get promoted in my college? How can I get promoted in my college? No, how can I get promoted in my job? What the what are the things that I need to do? Because if you start thinking like, okay, I will work very diligently, then you will be not getting the time for gate. And, and if you start thinking like, I have to prepare for gate, I can't focus on my job, then my friend, most probably they will sack you. And you need that money because you don't know that whether you will crack gate or not. Similarly, in the college, you can't either neglect the college studies because you have to maintain a particular CGPA to, to sit for the placements. And you can't neglect gate also because you want that PSU job or BAC history or DRD. Right? Okay. So, I now have said the college dynamics, but now the fourth point is very important and that is about studying the subject as a whole. 
what mistake we do is that we study the subject from the point of view of gate, from the point of view of semester, and if there is any other third examination, then we are studying the same subject from the point of view of that examination. So we are studying the same thing for multiple times. For example, if you are studying engineering mathematics, you know that for the complex analysis in the gate examination, I have to study just the Cauchy's residual theorem. So you have mumped up the formula. Now in the semester examination, you are asked to derive the Cauchy's residual theorem. So during the semester examination, you are mugging up the derivation. During the gate examination, you are mugging up the approach. So I am asking you, if you are a second year student, even if you are a third year student, why not to study the things from the scratch? Just study for only one time and that will help you for the semester. That will help you for the gate examination. Believe me, this is the key that you need to study the subject for the sake of studying it. This will help you to crack gate, semester examination, any other examination, even interviews like BART is so DRD. The fifth point is connected to this. That is, you have to stay ahead of your college, my friend. For that, you have to work a bit harder. And at the same time, you have to sync your gate preparation with your college. For example, if you are a student of mechanical engineering, generally in the colleges, in your second or third semester, you will be studying the subject thermodynamics. Now, you have to understand that thermodynamics is a subject that I have to study for semester also and for gate also. Okay, so study that subject when your when that subject is in the semester. Okay, and along with that, so I assume that you have four subjects of mechanical engineering in this semester. So you will study the five subjects. You have to do it. Okay, and obviously, if you feel that your college is not good, your professors are not teaching wholeheartedly, then you always can skip the classes. And I mean. For my case, it was a different scenario that I knew that the questions will come from my the, the materials that the professors are teaching in the class. But the college is like, uh, I mean, the, there are so many colleges who, uh, who are affiliated by any authority body. And for them, the questions are not made by the professors of those colleges. Okay, so they can easily skip the classes. So you have to judiciously understand your college dynamics, accordingly make your plan and sync your gate preparation with your college semester examination. Okay, finally, my friend, you have to make a mistake copy and also you have to appear for the test series. Why that is so? That is because you have to maintain consistency. This one word is important for anything in your life. I always say, that it is better to study for 30 minutes a day than to study 10 hours for one day in one week. That is of no importance. So better you study for 30 minutes a day. That will be very helpful. So you, if you want to maintain a consistency, now what is the connection to test series? See, test series is not only for practicing. Test series is not only for judging your marks and rank. Test series is for learning. Test series is for revising. Test series is for practicing and all the things. So, sing all the things. So, test series is the, what I can say. I mean, it is the hammer of thought actually. I mean, it is the key. It is the most powerful tool in gate examination. Please understand it. Okay, now if you are interested that how can I make the most out of a test series, how can I make the most out of the test series by maintaining the consistency. Okay, so all the things is jotted down in this video where not only I have mentioned that how to prepare your gate examination and, and how to get the most out of a test series, but for which test series you should buy, for which test series you should go okay and all these suggestions i have given based on my experience and not based on any promotion okay now i cannot continue for the test series in this video because that will make it more and more long so i will make you in this video until that goodbye take care but please 
subscribe this channel if you think that this guy is doing something for you this guy is trying something for you and if you want to connect with me go to linkedin there i share my thoughts i share my suggestions about the interviews about gate examination and a, 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 and a lot more so i will meet you in linkedin i will meet you in those videos until that please subscribe i know that you will do it for for your brother and goodbye take care and thank you